myself DJ Ready D, Azul and E20. We just want to thank you guys and ladies for training with us at the Scratch Lab. Um, yeah, just to give you a little bit of a revision, we're going to break down some of the basic techniques and remember, once you've mastered these techniques, you'll be ready for anything else out there. So it's very, very important. Keep it simple, keep it basic while you're doing all your practice routines because this is something that we all revisit. It doesn't matter if you are able to do the complex flares and tears and orbits and all that funny crabs and all the other technical stuff. You always got to come back to this and remember this will teach you timing it will teach you um, to understand the different levels in terms of how you blend your scratching with your beats and so forth and it also just gives you all that mental prep um, that you need so we're going to break down the five techniques once again I'm going uh, to start off with technique number one which is the baby scratch we all know the baby by now but I feel it's a very very important technique so we're going to take the, the pioneer units that's going to We'll take it out of the equation for now, it's looking all busy, so we're going to focus on the decks, on the vinyl. So I've got one deck, two deck over here, I'm going to play my beat on the left hand side, and then on the right hand side I'm obviously going to demonstrate the techniques. So in this case, most of us are familiar with this sound, right, so the baby scratch, this is a fader scratch. So we open up the fader, you preferably want to leave it in the middle. And uh, I've marked up my record over here, so you know that uh, the little mark or the stick over here has always got to be in line with uh, the needle right there. So the baby scratch is just the forward, backward, forward, backward motion. Uh, motion. So here we go. So a couple of variations of the baby. If we move the record back and forth slowly, we sort of get, um, we get a low tone and if we move it fast, we get a high tone so we can work out different little um, scratching uh, patterns with, with the baby. Cool. Technique number two, right? Um, I would say it's a sort of step up from the baby. We're going to be working on the tear scratch. This is also a fadeless scratch. But what this means is that we are putting little pauses and intervals within the, within the, um, the baby scratch. So it's back to the same sound. Same principle as I explained to you before. So this is the tear. So it's kind of this motion. So it's, you know, you're kind of putting little in, uh, intervals like I mentioned. And you also you can tense or you can work on how you can tense up the finger or the wrist movement for this one. So here we go. Cool. That's the baby. That's the tay. Moving on to technique number three, we're going to move on to our fader cuts, right? So in this case, um, this is something that I term as a cut or basic cut, meaning that we're going to get the sound to play forward and we do not want to hear the sound come back, right? So this is what it sounds like. That's it. To give you a very, very simple explanation, there's four movements that will eventually become one movement, right? So our first movement, you've got to make sure that um, your sound is queued up. Your fader's got to be closed. So movement number one, you open the fader. Movement number two, you move the vinyl forward. Movement number three, you close the fader. Movement number four, you bring the vinyl back to its original position, right? So it is open. Forward, close, and back. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So once you're comfortable with the technique, all four techniques become one, and this is what it looks and sounds like. That's the correct way. This is what we do not want to hear. So that's incorrect. We do not want to hear that one. And then the next technique that we're going to do is the military, uh, the military scratch. And you can actually 
hear and see how everything leads into one another. So this is the military scratch. Um, it's sort of a step up from the cut or the forward scratch, if you want to call it that. So this is what this one sounds like. combination of the babies right there so I'll do it for you one more time and then you can practice and listen to it over and over or we'll take the video clip convert it into mp4 and put it on loop and then you can sort of tune your ears into it and after that you start doing your own version of the military so here we go <laughs> Next cut, the transformer scratch, right? So the idea for the transformer scratch is we're going to take the sound. Once again, this is also um, a scratch that involved the faders. Uh, the principle, the technique is the same. It's the baby. And then we'll take the cross fader, starting with the fader close, and we'll just tap the fader to put um, notes or to cut the song up into seg uh, the, the sound effect. We'll cut it up into segments and then we'll create notes out of that. So this is the, the transformer, forward, backwards, forward, backwards. We do the baby, and then we'll try and build up a pattern out of it. of the transformer so what I'm going to do now is once I've mastered the techniques at least I feel comfortable with the techniques I will then put them on a beat and then I'm going to do a bit of a combo starting from the beginning and then I'll put them all together but remember keep it simple do not rush the process because if you stick to the basics you will actually accomplish quite a lot in terms of what you will learn and the main aim of here is for you to develop your own style so that you can stand out from every other DJ out there so let me put it to a beat and then I'll do a combo and we can actually check out how everything uh, fits together. So here we go. Starting with the baby.